Um, so I'm going to be making a parabolic mirror out of a satellite dish. And uh, I was donated all of this glass. It came out of a um, glass door, a sliding door for um, like a closet. And so I um, just wanted to show you. Hopefully I can get this to uh, hold well enough without my beard getting it. So, so I, this uh, it has like a weird plastic backing. And there we have it. First one inch by one inch um, piece of glass. So I'm gonna show you with the rest of this how you do it. So this is a cool little device here. Um, set it in place. It's already preset. And you take your glass cutting tool. Okay, and then it's so because it's already preset. All you got to do is just run it along this line here. Put that down along the side. Score it. All right, that'll work. So this has a line. This tool has a line right there. So it doesn't need to line up exactly, but see the score there. And then you just push it, and it goes down. So now because of this having a plastic backing. I just got to cut it again like I showed you at the beginning of the video. So yeah, I got to call cut all this up into little squares. All right, well, um, I was looking at this and going, wow, it's going to take me a long time to do each and every single one. So I've already cut my next strips um, along the side, and I figured, why not make a guide for them to sit against? So now I can run them along all of them, all at once, and do one cut rather than having to do... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 cuts. So, yeah, I figured I'd uh, add that. And that's another sheet of glass. And uh, this is what we got so far. Alright, so we're back in the, the garage. Alright, so um, these are all the ones that I got cut in about 5 hours. I don't know how many there's going to be there, but there's a lot. So, um, all right, so here, um, here you can see a bit of a shadow there, but I'm going to turn off the other light. Now, luckily, we got a nice line from over here, from the light up there. <laughs> okay, um, and it lines up perfectly on two inches. So we're going to use that as the first line. Now, what I got for glue is outdoor silicone. There we go. Service temp. So that means the temperature it can operate is minus 51 Celsius and plus 204 Celsius. That's like twice the temperature of boiling. So um, that's awesome. Not that I recommend you try to, you know, boil it, but anyways, um, so that that's why this um, silicone seemed uh, to be the best one, and it was only like six bucks, five, six bucks for a tube, and that'll more than do this. So um, I'm going to take a few videos in between just to show you what I got. I'm going to start off by making the line, and I'll leave it overnight, so that way I have a T, and uh, that way in the morning that level will be uh, nice and solid and uh, I'll have a place to work off of to finish the rest um, yeah I'll probably be uh, making some heat tomorrow um, all this stuff again
how I've got that much done now. It's pretty actually, uh, it's pretty amazing. And it's fun too. So, um, I've got a whole bunch of little broken pieces. And I'm just going to actually use the broken pieces to go around those. So, uh, I will be able to uh, get around them. Um, what I was thinking I should do is just remove them and then grind them flat. But um, I just want to get this first one done, and uh, maybe the next one I'll take the time. So just use one of those if you have the time to take them out. Um, I'm sure it'll still work without uh, one or two uh, pieces of glass there. So, uh, well, actually four to be exact. So I just wanted to show you what I've been doing is this. So um, for this, I just took, um, I, I took one line all the way down like this, but I did it in sections, so I started off there, you know, did halfway there, halfway there, halfway there, and then halfway there. So, um, so I've got this part that's almost going to come out now, so I'll just plop that right in the middle. So what I'm going to do here is I know that my line is there, and my line is approximately there, so then I'm just going to zigzag it in. Just to give you guys a make it a little bit easier for you in case you're wondering how to do it on your own. Um, and I really recommend all you Occupy people um, trying to do this yourself. It'd be a fun project, get you to move around, get out of the cold. Uh, oh, and this uh, will actually get you out of the cold. So I took one of the pieces of, um, of glass and I'm using it as a spreader. I do actually have normal spreaders, but I figured if uh, if that wasn't available, I could still show you another way. So you just uh, move it down flat until you get it pretty much well everywhere, and then little dot on each one. Don't put too much because then it's going to start coming out the in the middles, and uh, then you're going to spend a long time trying to get it off the glass. So yeah, just flip all of them face down and then just individually hold each piece or else it'll fly off. And then uh, I'm going to show you laying them down the easiest way and uh, the way how it sort of lines up the best. It's really actually hard because uh, it's not a machine that cuts them. Alright, so I uh, just wanted to, uh, to show here. So you just want to put a little dab on each piece. Alright, so. All right, so we got a quarter of it down, and a little bit more than a quarter. Is that cool? It's very hard um, when you do cut them. I know I've already mentioned it, but I just wanted to show you how difficult it actually is to get everything perfect. You know, when you look at it from far, you think, "Bah, looks good." 
when you look at it from close. They're, uh, it's very, very difficult. So, just to, to show you, definitely, uh, Alright, so now we're over half done. Let's see how I had to fill that one in there. And that one. And uh, I don't think I'll get anything for that. I'll uh, take a quick peek before I start applying the next one. So, yeah, over half done. Woohoo! Alright, so uh, I finished it up last night. Let it set overnight. Um, looks pretty cool. I think it's pretty awesome. So, won't know exactly how awesome it is until we take that 2x2 two two and this and bring it out in the sun. Alright, so luckily we had sun today. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, be showing you guys in a second when I go find a nice spot because the sun's getting um, low. Talk to you soon. Alright, so, um, so the day that uh, I started this on November 5th it is now November 6th. Um, I've been uh, testing around with this, and I think that it just because of the time of the year, the sun is not close enough um, to cause a burn. Um, I have uh, stuck my hand into this several times, um, and it should not be able to do that. Um, I had a piece of wood, did not work as well. So um, I'm going to try to find a bigger one and maybe see if we can get one of these things to work in the wintertime. So, I'm just going to show you. Now, my hand can get pretty darn close. Just got to find the hot spot. Sometimes it's a little difficult. There you go. Alright, so you can see that... Um, oh, oh, well, anyways, see if it'll still work. You know, my hand is nice, really nice and warm, but not at the point where i got to pull my hand out, which we want more than that. Um, if I put my jacket on it, I can start to smell the fabric softener coming out of my jacket, but um, just not enough. So, uh, yeah, um, I guess i uh, going to have to make another part of this video, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get um, a bigger one. Yay, <laughs> another day's of work. I'm out. Um, yeah, so keep that in mind if you want to do one of these. Won't work the greatest in the winter time. Um, it's not officially winter yet, but you know we're uh, we're only a month, uh, a month and two weeks away, a month and a week. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to uh, to mention here, um, before the videos are out, um, I was wondering if anybody in the Ottawa area would have a bigger one. Um, I know that this may be distributed throughout the Occupy people. Um, either way, that thing could keep you warm. You know, my hand got pretty hot. Um, I don't know how much better it's going to work when, uh, you know, winter comes to set in a little bit more. Um, but I'm sure it could provide some warmth. Um, but considering all the work, you know, is it worth it? Either way, um, it is, you know, beginning of November, and uh, you guys don't have much time left until you guys are going to be freezing your butts off, and I want to try to do something to prevent it. So, um, and not to mention, if I get enough heat off of one of these, and I believe it's actually the angle. I, I don't think that, like, if you look at the angle of this, you know, it's not very deep. You know, it's not a very concave shape. It's, um, I bet you if it were to be a little bit more, then, um, definitely would have better results. Um, 
So if we can get um, if we can get a bigger one, where um, you know where this will be able to uh, focus a lot more light beams in one spot, there's no doubt that uh, you could probably boil water or even cook a hot dog with it. Um, I've heard people say in the summertime it takes 45 seconds to cook a hot dog. So that obviously means that either it is my dish or it is um, the fact that it's the time of year and the sun's not as hot. So, um, yeah. Take care.